So the federal government of Nigeria have finally stepped into the cryptocurrency market by regulating the buying and selling of USDT in Nigeria. Um, I would say this is actually good news because um, if you notice for some period of time, especially last week, um, the rates at which the peer-to-peer -peer merchants on various um, exchanges in Nigeria, such as Binance, KuCoin, uh, Luno and the rest, but the rate at which they increased the price for the USDT, it's equivalent in Naira, it's on the high side. So the federal government have to step in because it's not actually regulated. And like I told you um, in some few weeks back, the rate of um, US, one USDT to the Naira on Binance is actually on 1,800 and above. And it seems the peer-to-peer -peer merchants are actually trying to increase it. Then the federal government have no option that to step in by regulating it. And if you're familiar with this channel, you will quite agree with me that I'm the first to bring to you the news concerning the cryptocurrency ban lift carried out by the federal government of Nigeria. That was sometime um, last year ending. I'm the first to bring the news. Um, so that's the more reason why you have to be part of this channel to get current updates on anything related to cryptocurrency in Nigeria. And before we proceed, Chibuzo Agua remains my name. And for Gifu Tech is the name of this channel. This is actually the cryptocurrency segment whereby I bring news concerning cryptocurrency and anything cryptocurrency, how to trade and the likes. And um, this is not actually a channel dedicated to cryptocurrency. It's actually a technology related channel, but I teach tutorials, how tos all related to technology. But this is just the playlist that talks about cryptocurrency. So if you want to be part of this channel, you can simply hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification. You get notified whenever I put up my next video. So in this video, we shall be looking at how this regulation carried out by the federal government, how it's going to affect you and I as a cryptocurrency trader right here in Nigeria and how it might affect us if the regulations are not strictly adhered to. So now let's get started in the video. First of all, let's look, um, like I said, somewhere in last week in Binance, um, the cryptocurrency is actually traded at 1,800. But if you see now, um, I just checked this few minutes ago before putting up this video, you see that the current rate is at um, 1,600 plus to one USDT. Why? Because the federal government have to step in. So if they stepped in or trying to regulate it, price keep dropping, keep dropping. How do I manage to know that they stepped in? Um, if you're a Binance trader, let me open an email I got on the 22nd of February, which is last week, 22nd of February, 2024. It says in uh, an important announcement to Nigeria, and it reads, um, Dear Binance, we are aware that some users are experiencing issues accessing Binance.com along with other platforms in the industry. Only users have attempted to access the website are impacted, although the app is currently available. Yes, this actually happened um, last week. Um, people that are on Binance or any exchange platform are finding it difficult to access the platform using the web browser version. Yes, but the app is actually because, working because I tried my Binance app and it opened. But if you are trying to use the browser, there is um, a little bit of limitation on what you see. Um, when this happened last week, people are scared that maybe the, um, the federal government of Nigeria has finally um, banned cryptocurrency exchanges um, because there was like a rumor that said um, that all telcos in Nigeria, that's telecommunication operator, um, have had an, an agreement with the federal government of Nigeria to ban the uh, ban users from accessing the um, the platform using their sim cards or their internet network and um, this is not true but actually something happened which led to this we know we didn't get the full information but it actually happened and people experienced this difficulty but the app started working again and when it started working you notice that the rate at which the peer-to-peer -peer merchants are selling um usdt to naira it keeps on reducing ever since then like from 1800 plus naira to one usdt is now trading at 1600 which is today Immediately the federal government of Nigeria step in. So why do they step in? If you notice that the rate at which um, the peer-to-peer -peer merchants on various exchanges such as Binance, KuCoin, Bybit and the rest, the rate at which they sell one USDT to a Naira is quite high from what you buy the dollar, even in parallel markets, that's the black market or the Aboki, like we normally call it, right here in Nigeria, the rate is quite on the high side. For example, of the black market, if you can purchase a dollar for one, 1500 and you go to binance you want to purchase that same dollar you see the price at 1700 so why is that so that's the reason why the federal government have to step in and said if they um if they continue with this it might actually lead to a ban yes it might actually because if you check who um luno i do use luno and i've talked about luno severally on this channel i do use luno and if you can see what i experienced why is my luno up i open my luno app and i try to like see um 
what was happening out there. And the first message that popped up is that Luno gave a prompt message which says that we have terminated the purchase of USD to use the NGN, which is the Nigerian Naira, to see that the regulation is, is quite effective. And I scroll down a bit and I see the rate at which they are selling their Naira. I mean, why, I, at, the rate at which they are trading. One year's easy to Naira is actually on 1,800, which is still on the high side. And maybe that's the reason why the federal government of Nigeria have to step in. And I know the government is involved concerning that termination of the sales. So um, I tried my best. I tried to see if I can still um, buy Bitcoin. It's just rolling and rolling. Then at the end, uh, a prompt will come up that um, network issue is not actually a network issue. But I believe maybe they are working hard to see um, how to like terminated but i believe it will be temporal so you can see how it's already affecting us as um a nigerian trader right in naira the positive effect is that um users or peer-to-peer -peer merchants on various exchanges don't have the option rather than to sell at the current black market rate if need be the current black market rate by which the parallel and uh, their book is actually selling a dollar to a naira right here in nigeria so if you're confused you don't know what usdt is usdt is actually a stable coin which is a cryptocurrency and it is pegged to the united states dollar which means that one usd is actually equivalent to one usdt so i see no reason why the price will be on the high side on various exchanges while it is low when you want to buy it physically right here maybe because um people are having the feeling that the naira will keep on depreciating in value and people are actually saying that in few weeks time a few months time that the naira will be trading at two thousand naira to a dollar and that's the more reason why people are seeing it as a means of increasing the naira by buying usdt and at the end peer-to-peer -peer exchanges on various um, peer-to-peer merchants on various exchanges are taking advantage of it and selling it on the high side so it has to stop so the regulation i've stepped in if you read further um importantly i'm still reading the email i got from binance concerning um an announcement for nigerian traders so it says we remain committed to the to the adherence to local regulations and laws you see these statements alone make me to realize yes that the federal government of nigeria is involved in this all so you say we remain committed to the adherence to the local regulations and laws we continue to actively engage with regulators the sec is any financial financially um, institution in nigeria that regulates cryptocurrency you say we are uh, we remain committed to the adherence to local regulations and laws we continue to actively engage with regulators policy makers and other relevant stakeholders to foster an open transparent dialogue about managing the evolving landscape of cryptocurrency so it reads for i said any changes or updates will be communicated promptly via our official channel so this is first of all a message to reduce the scare that the federal government have already uh, maybe like terminated the use of um, exchanges but if you could still see the message which is impacted in this last statement it said any changes or updates will be communicated promptly via our social channels so if if the exchangers i mean sorry the merchants on the peer-to-peer -peer platform still insist that they want to sell the peer the usdt which is a um, stable currency for the united states dollars you don't still want to sell it on the high side exchange it for the naira the federal government might step in and we might see the worst so this is what they should try to prevent since they've stepped in, in regulating it all i am employing all the peer-to-peer -peer merchants that do sell usdt please adhere to the regulations which both the exchanges have given and also which is in line with what the federal government of nigeria has taken. because if they choose not to i'm afraid that the federal government of nigeria might step in and it might lead to a total ban of buying of usdt in nigeria and which may affect the cryptocurrency atmosphere in a whole so it says if you require any further support please um reach out to its email address is there so thank you for understanding and patience and your patience are highly appreciated so the binance team so this is the message coming from binance and who knows what is happening to um, luno because luno is not functioning as i am speaking or recording this video at the moment so all i'm just pleading for the exchangers for the people involved that sells usdt on various platforms please adhere to the rules by which your the exchangers because you are tied uh, tied to them Apply to the rules that they said, and please don't go.
further because the federal government of Nigeria is annoyed that the Naira is depreciating in value when compared to the United States, the United States dollars. But exchanges are making it still more difficult or putting more danger by placing a higher fee, which is quite abnormal or higher than the normal rates at which the Naira is traded against the dollar in various other markets apart from the cryptocurrency exchange platform so they should adhere to these rules if not the federal government of nigeria might step in and who knows what will expect uh, will expect next and we might go back to where we are prior to the tail end of december 2023 which might lead to maybe an official ban of cryptocurrency trading in nigeria so we should avoid this we should stick to this um with this um this is just information i want to bring to you in this video um like i said um, subscribe to this channel so that i get future updates concerning cryptocurrency trading in nigeria which i've dedicated this very playlist to and you shall be receiving information as time goes on so uh, like i said from the start chibu zagua remains my name and blogging for is the name of this channel simply go to <coughs> the playlist of this channel and watch other videos and get educated get entertained and if you want to learn one or two things related to technology go to other playlists and learn or two and also go to the comment section ask your question if you're confused in any aspect or if you want to give your contribution for us to learn it's highly welcome go there and tell us one or two things you know about cryptocurrency regulations in nigeria so we've come to this end of this video watch out for my next video it might be related to cryptocurrency and it might not be so we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now. Peace.